uh, Trevor has a gift with words and staging characters and, and actors in a way where they speak without speaking. You know, there's very little about the way Trevor mounts a production that isn't always communicating with you in a very brilliant fashion. I think the great thing about Trevor is, is the process of discovery uh, that he has. He will walk into the first day of rehearsals with a huge amount of research and thought. But the important thing that Trevor does is all through the rehearsal period, he is, he is trying things out, he is, he is actually directing the show organically. The first couple of days of rehearsal are always spent with him talking to us and lecturing us, if you like, about everything to do with not just the peace, but the social, political, economic situations of the time, so that we're all on the same page when we start. He is so detailed and so connected to every aspect of the production that to see it unfold and to watch it on the page and not quite know how this is gonna work, but to be in rehearsal and to see him shape and pull and prod and to see the story unfold actually before your eyes is what I find amazing. Sometimes events can be more keenly observed from an, an outsider's perspective. And so I thought with myself as the writer and, and Trevor as the director, we would get an inside-outside uh, situation going and it might be beneficial to the whole. And I think really that's what, what we found. It's been just great fun working with Trevor, just a complete joy and a delight. Not many shows have this number of people identifying themselves as the cast. It's a, it's a huge undertaking. Uh, and collectively, they represent an enormous amount of talent. I would have thought there are very few rooms in London at this moment as I speak that contain as much talent and energy and inventiveness and imagination as is present in this room. What's amazing is amongst all this chaos as we are putting this production together, he's able to sit at his table and imagine the entire thing, which is not a talent that I have. All I can see is what's right in front of me. Um, and yet he has this incredible ability to, to see the whole thing laid out in front of him. He has a great way of, of softly manipulating you into, into, the, right, into the right way. There's, there's, a, there's a, a phrase that I think has been coined, um, you've been trevored. There's this wonderful thing, he, he comes up to you and he, he puts his arm around you, and, and, and for me, that's, it's more like this, but uh, he puts his arm around you and, and um, he starts telling you a story. He says, I, I have this idea, and, and uh, it takes your imagination off somewhere, and then he leaves you at this point where you actually find that you're improvising. He'll discuss with you in a very knowledgeable and confident and complete way how he thinks it should be. And before you know it, you're agreeing and going, yes, I, I absolutely think, how could I possibly have thought any different? Uh, Gone with the Wind is not your, you know, traditional musical, you know, comedy, let's speak and then let's stop and sing a song and then let's do this. This is. This is a story we're telling, and there are massive amounts of music. And this is where Trevor is at his best, is to make a complete experience for, for the patron.